I was told by this, uh, we keep doing service and this service is deliver value to the empowered customer is the core finding. How is a customer in Agartala empowered if he is not using Facebook, he does not know what Twitter is and probably have never flown, you will never find him. So now multiplied, we are present uh, as a Tanishk in around 100 plus cities, uh, we are soon launching a program or an activity which will cross around 500 cities across India. Now we, we definitely data is big, big data, a lot of it is available. But the point I am trying to make is how does one impact the customer when that customer experience or a engagement is happening and is buying the product. Because he is not, in, because you have planned everything, you have a big group, you have got servers, analytics done, you have bought the product, manufactured, shipped it to the store. And there is a customer who walks in and then he wants to buy the product, but between him and the product is a person standing in between. And in our uh, titan we call them RSO, retail sales officer or a CR or a sales officer. So the challenge is how do I get this entire data, analysis, scientist, crime patrol, everything done, how do you make, and there are 10,000 of them, mind you. In Tanish there are 4,000 plus people who are selling day in, day out from 10 to evening 9 o'clock one product to the customer. If I expand to Titan, that's 12,000 people standing there and selling. They generate to the tune of this year around 9,000 crore revenue. No Facebook, no Twitter. We are on e-commerce that will contribute 0 0.00002 percent maybe. <laughs> so the, since morning what we have been discussing a lot is Facebook, online, Twitter, great. So I just wanted, I thought when discuss initially the entire structure of the module, I thought retail has different challenge. In the morning I heard retail also has a lot of data, which is because we run loyalty program, we collect lot of data, hence we are empowered. We also sell only through our stores. Unlike consumer durable companies, ITC, etc., who sell through Kirana stores where you do not have control. So what I am trying to present a very brief uh, presentation on how we did that over a period of two years, because we felt, uh, yes, data is good. I got... Uh, as I speak today, we've got 7.5 million customers with some detail about them within us, in some server setting, in some computer setting. How will that enable that one RSO when he sells that jewelry to the customer? What can I do to make that sale happen? And that's a journey which I am trying to share with you very quickly. Just two critical points. Uh, I will stay only on, there are around 30 slides, but key focus will be only on five slides. It, and this is one of them. One of the critical thing about the brand like a jewellery is that we have a heritage of Tanishk as a brand. People think it's a very big brand, snobby, it's not for me, it's a bit rich. But we also have the last point, very strong bonding between the sales staff and the customer. You don't believe it. There are people who call up and say, hey, is Shanti there in the store? No, she's not there. No problem. I'll come tomorrow to buy. So I'm talking of that kind of bonding. And please remember, we are not jewellers. Tanish, when he started 25 years back or 15 years back, that was 25 years back, we did not know what is jewelry, did not know what is gold and we are competing with jewelers who are there for hundreds of years. My grandmother's grandmother would have bought from the same jeweler, you continue to do, it, do that. Now how do I break that entire process? How do I and there is only one guy standing between the customer and the sale and that is that person who is selling from morning 9 till evening 6. So also we launched loyalty program which is the entire genesis of the entire initiative which I am trying to explain right now. And the whole core was, it's not a card, it's an enabler for my store staff to make that sale, make the understanding. Few reason, I mean, we as a marketeers, we always need logical reasons to move forward. So this is a predominant retail factor, 40% of your customers will never come back. Across retail, any retail, look at 35, 40% will not come back, whatever you do. Jewelry on the other hand is very high on relationship and a lot of environment factors. You must be reading papers are talking about gold and gold and gold. Rates are going to go down. Now imagine that effect on a customer. I got two daughters and they will very soon get married. Although I am educated, I know that someone back of the mind, I know that I need to get those girls married and need to get jewelry at home. That fact will not change. That is going to happen and that is going to be there in my wife's mind, my mind. So that environmental factor is a very critical thing. 
So we had a concept called we all all of us know n is equal to one. Okay, uh, we said okay, look at the customer. He is only individual, and we do lot of things. But we believe n is not equal to one. N is equal to one plus. So let's look at how it can how one is not equal to one. We at this point have 2.5 million Anuttara customers. We can look at as one individual customer, or we can look at it this way. There are 18,000 Gujaratis, 21,000 Marathis, 16,000 Bengalis, Tamilians, people with children, etc., etc., etc. Why I am showing this? Because there is an inherent uh, concept or a thought in our mind that we do not have data. No data. Our first we cannot do anything. But look into the data. Every single row, every single name. How can you use it and empower the retail person standing in Agartala or Bihar? This he will not know. This is what your data will try to tell you. Let's look at this individual. How we look at a customer and how is it different and how we could make the impact happen at Agartala or Calcutta. It is Ritesh Kale. He is a Hindu Marathi. Celebrates Ganesh Puja. He is 42 years old. Stays in Banjara Hills. Please note, Hyderabad, not in Bombay. Typical mindset will be he is a Bombay. Works with TCS, TCS as HR senior manager. Two daughters, listening to Tagore songs. Bought in Tanish for Akshay Titya. It is uh, day when we make hundred crores of sale in one single day. So that's this is his profile. So what I am trying to present or to explain to marketers is that that one row which you have of a customer can. Give you gems and gems of data. Just look for it. How do I use that? Your name, mother tongue gives you community. I send a very special hand-delivered box of modak. I am told that's a special sweet you give on that day in Bombay. And I do not want to focus on customers in Maharashtra. I want to focus on customers beyond Maharashtra. Why? Because they uprooted from their own place. They would love to get a get something from a brand. Say, hey, listen. You are in Hyderabad, but you are Marathi. You know you don't celebrate, don't have the occasion. Here is something from Tanishk. Will it build relationship? Yes, I think. And the numbers will show that. Cashment area. What does cashment area talks about the person, about the individual? So we organize some kind of a visit to Sula Winery for a couple. So how do we marry data together to do activities to bring relationship with the customer? I'm just trying to highlight that using the point. So you have a Personal location data because the customer fills in the loyalty form that this is my anniversary. You know that she stays in Banjara Hills or some high up market area, hence should be high profile. And you put two and two together, and you say hopefully she will love visit to the Sola uh, winery. They have a visit or chocolate making. You won't believe when you did this, we had to say no, ma'am, really sorry, we cannot accommodate. We'll do again. That's the kind of uh, feedback we got. We had to do it thrice in a month because we cannot say no to the customer. If my neighbor is gone, why can't I go? And as Tanish can never say no to the customer. Some more examples. Favorite singer. Uh, now dormancy is, as I said, prevalent hugely. So we know that this uh, lady or the person likes, let's say, Lata Mangesh, Kishor Kumari went ahead, spoke to Saregama, got a customized CD done, which has the old time songs. My database, unlike the new generation, is towards 50 plus. 40 to 60 converts, contribute 60 percent of the population. Will they love it? They loved it. If I tell you the number of emails I, I got, number of uh, messages we got, number of calls we got, it was too positive for me to let go. This we did at a region level, at Kannada, at a Bengali, uh, Marathi, Telugu, Ghantasala, I think was a Telugu singer for him. So what I am trying to exp uh, explain to all of you is that this data will not be there for 2.5 million. It will be there for a 1 lakh customer. But can I marry that with some other factor? The fact that he is dormant, he is not customized. I cannot communicate 2.5 million customers. I can't afford to do that. But if you can pick and slice the data in a fashion which is suitable to you, it will deliver results. 